Grant Hutchison here over at Monster Energy Yamaha Factory Racing, and I'm the mechanic for Mr. 51, Justin Barsha. So starting at the front of the bike, Justin runs a Renthal 602 fat bar, medium grips, full diamond, pretty standard bar height, and also rolled back a little bit. Yeah, up on his controls, we also run a, a billet throttle tube. Awesome piece that we had made, really thin, light, and uh, feels really free. With his controls, we run a completely stock front brake system. He has his levers in, pushed out. He also runs a hydraulic clutch on this bike, a YRRD hydraulic clutch made from Europe. I mean, it runs a Brembo Master and then a complete one-off piston assembly. So we've incorporated our own start button slash map switch control, and then we also run the stock launch control button lets them choose between different starting maps along with that we run a get ECU and the get GPA so they have the ability of tuning their start maps themselves just to try and put it all into one so we don't have a map switch and a start button try to slim up the bars a little bit from having a bunch of stuff on it so Justin runs a standard KYB spring fork it is a works fork and shock they allow a lot of adjustment. We have two compression adjustments and two rebound adjustments, both front and rear, and also the capability of adding air if you really wanted to. Over the testing, the guys have really picked this year just stock clamps, stock position, nothing crazy there. They really like the plushness and how soft they feel. So for wheels on this bike, we have a OW hub straight from Japan Yamaha. Also run a, a DID Dirtstar S FX and it's also wrapped in Dunlop tires. We do do a custom rim for the race team. The production bike now comes with the blue hoop, but we go ahead and send it off, get it polished and re-anodized blue to make it pop a little bit more. The rotors are braking rotors, front and rear, stock size, stock caliper. For a gas tank on Barsha's bike, we switched to a factory Yamaha OW aluminum tank. It's all custom built, get it here, it's actually a little bit skinnier and also makes the ride a little bit stiffer. It doesn't squat as you're sitting on it. Yeah, he really liked the feel in Supercross of how it's small and making the bike pretty nimble. Primarily all stock plastic with a Psycho front number plate. They just came out with it a few weeks ago for the new model and then also wrapped in factory effects, graphics, and seat cover. For cooling system on the bike, we do run stock radiators, stock hoses. We just like to weld the spigots and the seams get a little strength in case of a crash. Going into outdoors, we should be running a fan to help out with cooling. This year, PC did an awesome job with our pipe, put in their cool little decal and in our header, also put in the O2 sensor for us so we can read a little bit of data. It's on at all times, we can always adjust if needed. Being factory Yamaha, most of the stuff is done in-house or get parts from Japan. You know, the, the whole engine package stock is so good this year that the guys haven't feared far from it. Only a couple little trinkets with the GY2R covers on both sides. Engine work here and there, can't reveal all the secrets, but the guys really like the smoothness this year of the motorcycle and they haven't veered away from it much at all. All the guys that we've had this year, all different riding styles. Cooper's really smooth and precise and Barsha's just everywhere and twisting the throttle like crazy. Engine package wise, they've stayed really similar and we've just adjusted them a little bit with mapping, which is a constant constant adjustment. We do it to every track depending on dirt, corners, everything, however the guys are riding. Yeah, a lot of the chassis stuff around this bike, we didn't have to change. We've also, we've done the testing and stock OEM, it has been the best. Our engine hangers, top and front are stock. Not a lot of change in tie bolts and stuff like that. They really like the stock platform that we didn't get far from. Nice carbon skid plate this year. We made in-house, Yamaha US made it for us. They did an awesome job, looks clean. And then also we have a little couple other carpet trinkets. We have a rear caliper guard that we made. And then we also run a light speed chain guide. Foot controls for, the, for Justin have pretty stock. Stock shifter, it's in the stock position. The rear brake, run stock rear brake pedal. We, act, we modified a little bit to put a different spring on, give a little bit more tension. We just made in-house Yamaha foot pegs, full tie foot pegs and brackets. We engineered a, a pretty cool system for clearing the dirt. So overall height of the bike, Going into the subframe, we didn't have to mess with it this year. Every guy has been uh, really happy with the height of the bike and the whole geometry. We haven't messed with it too much. You know, a couple of guys wanted lower seats.
Run a little frame tape on there, a little soft grip tape, helps with the guy's little traction in there. No other grip tape on the bike, just on the bottom frame ramp. Bolts going on this bike, we have a OW Works Yamaha rear axle. It is a actually a steel axle and a gold nitrate. It's really slick and durable, it's really strong. And the, the front wheel is also a titanium works axle. Going with the other ones, the guys kind of switch up. If they want tire or steel, they might go back and forth depending on how it feels. We do run a Delron insert so our, no rocks get stuck on the rear brake pedal. DID chain and a Vortex sprocket. Really try to make sure the bike stays nice and long and super cross and it has a lot of stability in the whoops that way. So yeah, we try to run it as far back as we can and not try to mess with gearing too much and leave it there for all the, all the good chassis benefits it has. So going to electric start this year, we had Speedsail come on board. They built us these awesome batteries built purposely for this motorcycle. Also like to run an extra safety precaution and we have a port that if there's any type of issue with battery or broken wires or anything, we have the ability to do auxiliary battery and plug it in and still get the motorcycle started in a pinch. Rear tire is a Dunlop tire. Justin has stuck with the same tire primarily all year front and rear rear tire being uh, a little bit wider and kind of flatter going into rear brake pretty heavy on the brake braking rotor works really well and then we've we've stuck with a stock rear caliper and an ow master cylinder uh, rear brake line is also stock we run a titanium pro circuit tie six pro muffler they build them all custom for us along with the get ecu we also run a get logger logging data at all times we have the o2 sensor running at all times tune the bike exactly how they want or make sure nothing's running weird and then also it logs all the bikes manufacturer sensors so it plugs into the main harness and pull up all the sensors that every bike comes with make changes if needed on the main harness we do a little bit of modifications and make sure no wires get stressed hard to get out help us out with our job of building the motorcycle and if something's wrong easy access to get at With the rear end, we run stock linkage. Guys loved it. And with the KYB factory rear shock, where we're able to you know, adjust shock length, and obviously we're gonna put any spring rate on there we want. Supercross, they're pretty high up there. Yeah, the rear end is highly adjustable, but linkage stays stock. With the metal grates this year, we run the pro circuit starting device, and we've been running the dual button. It's really consistent on the gate, where once we kind of got a set height, we stuck with it. But then we found that the dirt afterwards makes a huge difference, maybe more so than when we started on dirt. Depending on the traction, we'll either raise or lower the front end track to track. Yeah, with our clutch system this year, Barsha is obviously pretty hard on the clutch, revving the bike hide really hard out of the corners. He does go through the clutch a lot. Now that we put the hydraulic system on, able to run more variety of springs, also different plate combos. This motorcycle, we run a, a DT1 air filter, able to get on the dyno and we can run different filters for supercross or outdoors. And inside the aluminum tank, we run a VP fuel. Also inside the engine, we run a Yamalube oils, chain lubes, and anything we need, their product has been great. Mm -hmm.